Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa Plans. Thank you if you are returning and have subscribed and welcome if you are new here. Um, I do uh, planner flips, planner related things on my channel. And today I am coming out here with a flip of my November setup. And as you can see, it is a personal ring. What? <laughs> I know, I know. I changed. I changed it up. I changed it up for November, probably for December, probably for January and beyond. Um, I'm just getting a little tired of discs. I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> so Friday... Was it Friday? Thursday. Thursday, right before November 1st. Um, it was about midnight into 1 a.m., I started setting up my planner because I have to set up something because I'm leaving out of town the next day. And I start setting up discs. Half letter, as you can see, there are eight discs. I was getting a little tired of mini, so I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do half letter discs. Um, and it is sort of set up. Um, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I tried to set this up, and then I thought, you know, I did... Uh, purchased this a while back and I've had it in my stash for a little bit and I decided you know <laughs> I'm getting tired of these discs I'm getting tired of the pages kind of flipping out um, I'm a little bit tired of the mini size not really the size so much as it is the type of inserts um, I don't really like um, the inserts I've been using especially the week on two. I'm more of a week on one kind of girl. And I thought, you know, I really do like a rectangular page shape, which is crazy. But yeah, so here we are. I'm like, you know what? Personal rings. Let's just go for it. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, a Moterm in the pebbled leather and this is the burnt orange color. And I just picked it off off Amazon. Um, Kind of just picked it up off Amazon and kind of stored it away for a while. Uh, this is an Ollie Block clip. And this is the Lux version. Um, I believe it's the, yeah, the 30 millimeter rings with the two poppers. And um, yeah, cause I can't do anything smaller than 30. In fact, I'm already busting out of these 30s. I like to stuff my planner a little bit. Um, in the pockets, I just have a bookmark. This is all Coco Daisy Chapters Kit stuff that's decorated in here, except for a few other little doodads, um, and I'll come across those. I'll let you know where I got them. Um, in here, I just have some post-its, and let me tell you what, though. I have been craving pockets. Um, now, you can get snap-in covers for your discs, and you can put in like, um, you know, vinyl pockets here. And I could totally do that if I wanted to go back. But there's just nothing like having a zipper pocket, another pocket, 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 <laughs> pocket, pocket, pocket. I think you get my point. Um, I think I just like uh, or have missed, I guess, um, more pockets. And also that leather feel, you know, I just love my Chic Sparrows and my Tans. And when you go to something like this, yeah, you can get a leather cover for it, which I have. But more than likely, I just kind of take it out of that leather cover. And the leather cover just kind of sits there. <laughs> because with this, you can take it out if it's a wrap cover. So I've been kind of like, you know, personal rings. Let's give it another go. <laughs> I just don't need that much planning either. I don't need this size. I just, or, you know, I would just like to not have to use this size. I need to just get my stuff done. <laughs> I don't need to write as much down if I have all my stuff together um, to keep it PG-13. Um but yeah, so this is set up for November and all these tab dividers here, um, these are from, I believe, Erica Crafts. And these are the same ones I had in my March setup. I didn't change the labels on here because I thought they just kind of went. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to leave them. Um, and 
Keep in mind, I was also kind of in a hurry too because I wanted to get this done <laughs> before I left Friday for a little trip. Um, we had an out of town wedding, it was gorgeous. And I just wanted to get get it set up because I cannot be without a planner. Um, so especially since it's been so busy. Uh, this is the November kit and this is just from the dashboard. Yeah, set of dashboards. This is um, just laminated. And these are just some um, items from the kit. This is actually from Acorn Lane, um, a kit that was kind of like, this is kind of a reboot of that kit a little bit. Um, so I do have a couple items from Acorn Lane. This is a notepad from back then. Kind of the same, it's the same artist, Leno Potts. And also um, kind of the same color scheme. So some of these elements are from there too. So I just had some left over. Um, as per usual, I have my grocery list here. I have an inbox from Plan With B and add a planner from Plan With B. And this vellum is from Hobby Lobby. Don't sleep on Hobby Lobby vellums. Um, go to your Hobby Lobby, check out their vellum section. I need to go and look at their Christmas vellum because they're stepping up their vellums. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll probably be going there Thursday, maybe, just to check it out for some Christmas stuff. Not that I don't have a whole box of Christmas stuff already. <laughs> but yeah, I might just check it out. Uh, this is from Plans Meet Paper. Um, basically, all my inserts are probably from Plans Meet Paper. And just about every insert that's in here was probably in my HP Mini. So if you go to my January setup, you'll probably find all the links to just about everything in here. Um, except for these dividers. I might link these. I should link these dividers. Um, Erica Crafts. I like her stuff. Um, I don't Etsy. I'll link her below. Uh, this acetate is just from a big box store. It might be from Michael's or I'm thinking Michael's or Joann's. I don't think it's from Hobby Lobby. Um, but it's really old. We're talking years old. In fact, this <laughs> this acetate has been on my craft room floor, I'm not going to lie, for like more than a year. <laughs> so I decided to pick it up and dust it off, clean it, and cut it, punch it, and here it is. It looks really pretty in here. Uh, there is no reason why this tab is on here other than the fact I wanted gold <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Uh, first dashboard matches this dashboard because this is the A5 dashboard that I laminated and this is the personal dashboard. So this is in my monthly section. And I just have the cheapy month monthlies from Amazon. I believe they're new store, new stir. Um, 10 bucks for a whole year. I also bought them for 2025. If I decide to stay in personal rings, I'll have them. So, but they sell them all year long. It's not like you got to rush and buy them, but, um, yeah. So these are the, got them all the way through just December. I really should put January in here. I like having three months at a time. Um, but I figure at the end of the year, I'll probably put it in then January and February when I get to December. So, uh, tracking section. This is also a dashboard from Coco Daisy and this is just my normal tracking sheets. Um, if you are new here, I make these in Excel and all I do is reduce these down to like 80%. These are created in Excel landscape mode and then I use half of that paper. So it prints out, I, I can make this on half letter, cut and punch and print this exactly fits my half letter. But if you reduce it down to 80%, this is what you get. And you can cut it down for personal. Um, I did make these little boxes a little bit more narrower for my personal insert. So it would shrink down and fit. So maybe someday I can figure out how I can, um, how I make these. Maybe I'll do some sort of tutorial. Um, so easy and you don't have to write it all out every single month <laughs> or week or whatever you want to, however you want to track your stuff. So nice. Uh, this is actually uh, from Alibi Design Studios, her weekly tracker. So you could just like write some things you want to track. I usually, <coughs> excuse me, I usually use these for goal setting. 
So if I'm tracking a goal and I want to track it weekly, I really like this insert. Um, and this is from Plans Make Paper. It's just my November goals. And I don't have anything written in. I haven't, I just got home Sunday night. So um, I have not even had a chance to think about November yet. Um, as far as just setting it up and <laughs> and doing a little bit of planning <coughs> catch up. Because I still have to uh, transfer everything into this planner. Um, I'm going to go take a drink. So as you can see, if you're sitting on the screen looking at this spending tracker, <laughs> you'll see I have a Sterling Ink N1 coming. And some more, more, more terms. <laughs> Yeah, I thought maybe I might use a sterling ink um, in my, this is the N1 Common Planner standard size. I thought maybe I might use that in a standard traveler's notebook. Um, I thought, why not? Why not give it a whirl um, and see if I might like it for planning and or journaling. I'm thinking more maybe of a journal thing. If I don't like the paper, there is a sterling ink BST board, so I might go ahead and just... Um, yeah, sell it if I don't like it. So I thought, you know, I just want to see what the hype is. Uh, I do have some monthly zone cleaning trackers in here. These are also from Plants Meat Paper. I have my yearly tracker in here, which I have failed miserably on. Either that or, you know what, I have everything written out in my mini, I bet. I haven't transferred that data over here yet because I know I've done my car maintenance. That's 100% sure. Um... I've got my hair done more than January, so this is old. <laughs> um, kitchen, these are all like brand new. I just put these in, so I would like to do some zone cleaning. I really want to focus on cleaning this month. It's kind of a goal of mine because I don't have to go anywhere this month, knock on wood. Hopefully no travel, no trips, um, no events except for Thanksgiving. And even that might be non-eventful, which I'm okay with this year. Usually I host and um, cook everything. And this year it's that torch is being passed on to someone else. So I might be uh, having my own time this year for once. It's going to be different. Um, so this is my daily section. In my daily section, I um, always have a little piece of laminate. And um, all I do is zip it through the laminator and just cut it down and I have a nice little post-it board uh, for post-its. They love to stick on this. Um, you, you could also buy like a pack of acetate at Michael's and do the same thing. Um, these are just a few lists I have in front. Like I said, my goals are to clean up a bit. Um, I have a weekend list here that I probably need to redo. Um, this is These are kind of old because they were in a personal ring setup that I had set up like way back in March. So some of these are really old. Like this one's super old. Um, yeah. Aaron's list. I like to have an Aaron's list. Um, kind of just front and center. So I remember like, oh yeah, I need to go out and do these things. Um, soon. Uh, this is the back of my weekly. So my weeklies are also from Plans Meat Paper. And sorry about if you can hear the rain out there. It is like a monsoon. <laughs> we need the rain, but my goodness, it's really coming down out there. Um, and this is today. So I have my week on this side. And I have my day on this side. And I do have a few names covered uh, to protect the innocent for my job, for my work. So I put everything together. I don't have a separate work planner. Um, everything's together. And... I always have my day on this side, my week on this side, if I'm in rings. I don't do a day on two when I'm in rings, and I don't do a week on two. Um, the pages, I don't know. For me, it's just, I don't know what it is in rings, but I just don't do it that way. <laughs> uh, but my day is always on this side. So if you were to finish Monday, and... Tuesday would be like right here with here and then it just kind of like flips off. And there's Wednesday and I have some special tasks for my vet tech on Wednesday. So that's why that's behind here. And I have Thursday, Friday. I think you guys get the idea. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. And then the next week it's here and then it does the same thing. So 
super nice to be able to see my week um, at a glance. No matter uh, what day it is, I can always see my week. And they're always slit, so I can just take them right out. And I don't save these because I don't need to know that I cleaned the cat box or installed a printer for someone. <laughs> I don't need to look back and go, oh yeah, I uh, ate strawberries that day. I don't know, whatever. Um, I just don't remember I have strawberries in there before they go bad. Um, yeah, I just, I don't need to know. Um, if I need to know something, I put that in my um, Hobonichi Weeks. So I do have a Hobonichi Weeks that I don't really, I mean, I don't do that much with it. Um, I try to decorate it. I tried to use Coco Daisy stuff in here, but I don't like these stickers, how thick they are. So I stopped using them. And I'm glad I did because this would have really bulked up the planner. Um, I just use washi. I tried to take it out and it didn't work. But yeah, I don't like the Coco Daisy stickers in here. They're too thick. So, um, I just have like, um, who knows? I just have random stuff in here. But I, I don't really plan in here, really. I just have like a, um, yeah, I haven't even really you know, figured out November in here yet, but I do like having one of these so I can archive and say, okay, yeah, we did do that that week. Like this wedding happened, um, out of town right after Halloween. Um, and I like to have it just so I can look back on the whole year and go, oh yeah, when did I have my last dentist appointment? When did I last do my hair? It's kind of a, when did I last record? Um, really is what it is. So when did we go on that trip? <laughs> because these more than likely get tossed or I'm thinking of getting, since I'm in personal rings now, I could get the Franklin Covey storage box and pop these in here um, for like the whole year. And I don't know if I would keep these. I might keep them, but I probably won't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I probably won't. Um, yeah, I probably won't, but I, I might keep these in the monthlies. So I'm not really sure yet. I haven't worked all that out yet. I just set this up Friday and I've been out of town. So <laughs> haven't had a chance to process all this information yet. Um, but yeah, so that's this week. And I have all the weeks in here through. Um, and these all perform the same way. You just take it out and there's Tuesday and so on and so on and so on. Um, and I like to wash the edges. It's a little extra work, but I can see where these weeks are. So I can see what's coming up. Um, and what is so nice about rings too, and also um, any like system where you can tear the pages out and put them back in and move things around. I love that my Coco Daisy kit comes so early now in the month that when this week is over, I could possibly pop in the first week of December just in here and have it ready to go. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I have all of Thanksgiving. I have all the way to December 1st. It's a Sunday. Don't we love that? Um, I guess uh, December starts on, oh, it doesn't start on a Monday. I was thinking, I guess the second is the Monday. Rats. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> I had high hopes that it would start. Um, the first on a Monday, but so, oh, I'm flipping through here. These are also from Plans Make Paper. Um, everything here, Plans Make Paper. Um, I hope she comes out there and pops out her 2025 stuff soon. I really like to print that out, um, for December. These are her inserts just for her hourly. Super basic. I really don't need these very often. Um, there might be a couple weekends where I need to map out, like, you know, drive time, shower time, going to an event, going to two events, doing errands in between things, running around where I need to know times for things. Or maybe I have something crazy happens with work and I need to know, like, um, maybe I have a meeting or two or three, <laughs> who knows, and maybe even a dentist appointment that day. That's Kind of crazy, but it could happen. So these are in here for that. And there's not too many because that just doesn't happen very often for me, but they're in here. 
case I need them. Um, belt section. I also have another one of these lamination sheets in here with a ton of post-its. These are our translucent. Yeah, I have a ton of post I love post-its. Uh, these inserts are from Daytimer. And another thing I miss about personal rings was the different types of paper. I think I've mentioned it in my other videos where I'm like, man, I wish I could put in like super light paper, Tomoe River paper, you know, just different, different textures of paper. And now I can do it because we're in rings. Um, although most, most of the stuff I have is um, 32 pound HP. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, but these are all cut down from my HP mini that I took out and just chopped up and punched. Um, and I just have some lists of things I'm selling. I could sell. Journey to personal. <laughs> um this is from a May kit from a, actually cut down a standard TN and got some nice note paper out of that. So, so I don't like all the deco on the page. I actually don't mind chopping off that top part. If you get a Coco Daisy booklet and you, here's an old one. Um, this makes great note paper. Just if you chop this top part off and you have this, um, you can kind of make cute little note paper out of this. Um, Cause you can chop it all down. It makes it's such great weight paper. I like the thick paper with the graph on it. So and I don't need like all the deco. I just want enough to make like, you know, um, I don't know if, well, hello Lisa. So, um, <laughs> just enough to make like, you know, a little bit of deco on the side and just to get some of this, uh, maybe, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a little bit of color on here, like through here, there's some flowers. So that's kind of cool. So I thought about getting the weekly booklet, um, and seeing if I could do it that way to get some deco paper in here like I would still cut the top off a little bit this is the week size and the page size should be exactly the same as the personal and it is um, you just have to cut the top off and then chop the side the only problem is you're gonna have a lot more deco on these pages than you would on the standard TN if you were to chop that down um, you would have a lot more I guess you know, white space on your pages, but I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes for January and see which one I like. And then I might just change my insert. Um, I just have an insert sub for that. So I don't have to cancel my main planner kit. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts on note paper. Plus I like SM plans, her little flower stuff. Uh, this is just, just some cheap paper off Amazon, more of that day timer paper. This is called the portable line pages. And I kind of like this cause it's green and has a header. I just like different colors too. Um, oh, and also this is actually, um, this little piece of paper here is from Levenger and it is actually, um, for disc bound punch. All I did was put some washi on it and then just punch it or personal and it, this is the same size as personal. I believe these are other checklist pads. Um, I love the texture of this paper and also um, I just love the color. It's just, I like a pop of color every once in a while. It's, Cause all this white just gets so boring after a while. But I need more, I need more, I need more people. Um, so yeah, I got that. Um, these are get it done. I need to rewrite my master task list. I really like having it on this. I just like the line spacing on these. Um, I don't know, call me crazy, but I have to transfer that yet. Um, this is just regular old paper, HP 32 pound. And I was writing some things about planner piece. I actually did a huge video on it. And then I thought, you know, Lisa, you have no business posting this. <laughs> because I don't have it yet. <laughs> I'm working on it, but maybe, maybe someday. Um, but you know, what? I am tired of buying things that I might not use and afraid to set it up. Um, 
and I don't even want to open the package. So case in point, I buy some of these inserts from Coco Daisy and I'm like, you know, I don't want to even use it because I don't know if I'm going to stay in this or I don't know what I'm going to do. So I probably will be able to sell a lot of my inserts and just some things on the BST board, thankfully. And yeah, somebody's out there is probably looking for it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I just want to be able to be in the same size know I'm going to be in that size, open up my package and not worry if I'm going to return it. Does that make sense? So I'm starting to think about just these things um, and writing some of my thoughts down about that. Uh, this is just junk paper, <laughs> note paper. I love a lot of note paper, as you can tell. Um, this is my work section, which I need to fly right past that because I've got... <laughs> stuff in there that I can't show. Uh, another dashboard from Coco Daisy. And this is just my meal planning section. Um, some meals we like. And this is from Plans Make Paper. Um, that's what we're having this week. <laughs> this is just our grocery list. I just used this today. Thankfully I have it in here. Um, cause we have no groceries in the house. This is my little secret travel section. I don't have like a, um, divider for this. I just know it's in the very back of my planner. So this is what this is here for. This was in my HP mini. I just cut it down. This is paper from Joann's. I believe it's from Maggie Holmes collection. Some kind of travel collection. Joann's had it for a while. I don't know if they still have it. Um, but I, I do like this collection. You might be able to still find it on scrapbook.com. I bet if you search for Maggie Holmes travel, you might find it. Um, this is just some notes from my mom's house that I need to remember. Like she's got some stuff I need to pick up. Next time I go to her house, I need to bring my own pillows. <laughs> Cause she's has guest room pillows, but they're just, <sighs> she leaves them in the closet with their mothball stuff and they smell like mothballs. I'm like, you know, I just need to bring my own and some other things I just remember to bring. Um, just so when I go there, I'm more comfortable. And I got my packing list. I use this a lot. Well, I used it a lot in the past month. I've been all over the place. Um, so I usually keep this in here not to actually cross things off. I actually will print out another one when I'm about ready to go somewhere. But I like to have one in here just in case I'm like, oh, I got to go where in three weeks? Okay. Um, let's look at my travel packing list and just Give it a little peruse and see if I can remember if I need any of these little toiletries and, you know, what might, you know, what might trigger my brain <laughs> to need to go purchase something or need to go do something. Maybe I need to redo, I, I know I need to redo my passport. Um, maybe I need, you know, if I'm going somewhere hot, oh, I need to get some more suntan lotion. I know I don't have that sitting around. So this is kind of also just hey reminder list of what I might need if I'm going somewhere in the future. Uh, but that day, um, if I know I've got everything after looking at this list. I'll print out another one of these um, for that day and just mark things off as I put them in my suitcase and my bags and stuff. So very handy. Um, this page lifter is from OK Plans um, off Etsy. I love this page lifter. I think it's actually Franklin Covey compact size. Yeah, it is. Um, but I like it in here just because it doesn't hit on these um, uh, the ring things. <laughs> I don't know what it got. Tabs. <laughs> ring tabs. I guess that's what these are called. I don't know. <laughs> it's what opens and closes the rings. But I've had other page lifters that kind of like go underneath here and get caught. Um, it's weird. I, but this one doesn't. Uh, this fall vibes only is from Coco Daisy. I think that was from last year, maybe. I don't remember. Um, it's a vinyl sticker, but this one is from um, Erica Crafts, and it feels like it is. Is it cut or something? I don't know. Oh, weird. What is going on here? What? I must have had that. Huh, I must have that uh, split and I didn't realize it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she still has these, I just checked. Um, 
she still had these and okay plan still has these and these dividers i believe they're from erica craft i think she still has these but if not i got them from dividers or us and i know she is no longer but you can find these on amazon um you can find these all over the place that is such a great thing about being in rings is that everything's out there um every insert under the sun every accessory you could dream of is out there for personal so that's kind of cool um to be able to, to go out there and not worry about it um in this back pocket i just have this little notepad from acorn lane in 2020 coco daisy kit and these also these cards are um just like planning cards what i need to do like daily check my week goals week tasks i just made these they're like business card size and i made these like way back in like last not last april but the april before um i just laminate them and i keep them in here um and didn't keep these in my hp mini because i didn't have like a card slot so and this pen is just a sarasa limited um zebra brown and that is it i don't have much in the back pocket just some blank paper really so yeah that's it let's i can't believe it um <laughs> that I just popped myself into personal rings just like that i'm like wow okay so <laughs> that's what i'm in for november so i do have some plans for december coming up and I might actually do a plan with me next week or the week after. So, yeah, I might start doing that because if I stay in here and have a little bit more planner piece, um, I'm not hopping around so much. I spend so much of my time hopping that I don't, you know, like, like if you watch the video from Sam Plans about planner piece, she mentions that she planner hops and doesn't have enough time for planning, <laughs> actual planning. Hmm. So yeah, it would be nice to come out here and just do some plan with me's and I'll show you actually how I plan in here because <laughs> I actually do plan. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have your November setups already and are rocking and rolling with that. And yeah, I can't believe it. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys, until the next video. Bye.